Hi guys, so today we're gonna to be looking at some products from Vetsy. I have never tried this brand before. I think I've seen it around, but I've never really looked into it until now. I'm gonna show you what sparked me to get something from this company, and it is this video right here, and they call it solid nail glue, and obviously this person is molding it with their fingers, which is really interesting to me, as I'm sure it's also intriguing to a lot of you, as I got tagged in this a bunch. I wanna try it out and see if you can roll it with your fingers, if that's even a good idea, because of the oils on your fingers, we're just gonna take a look at it. In addition, when I was on the site, I also saw that they had mystery boxes, so I got two. I got a poly gel mystery box and a nail art mystery box. So we're just gonna also just see what's in that in addition to testing this solid nail glue that has to be cured with UV, so I would call that nail gel, but we'll see. Let's take a look at this box first. All that came in the shipping box were these two boxes that look exactly like this. So I'm assuming the solid nail glue is somewhere in these. I don't know which one this is. They're not labeled. So let's open up. So first thing, it looks like we've got some sort of French tip guides as well as some sort of holiday stickers. I think this one is the poly gel mystery box. So open this up. And these were $40 each, by the way. Okay, just kidding. Just because you get poly gel instructions doesn't mean it's the poly gel box. So this is the nail art box. First off, these actually really pretty rhinestones. We have some copper ones and some really pretty iridescent ones. A nail stamper, different kinds of gold, silver, and sort of coppery. I don't know what these are. I've never seen this before. It almost looks like like mini tinsel. I'm not sure, but the other stuff is like gold flakies. Cheetah or leopard prints, I'm not sure. Some card stickers some Halloween stickers. I did buy these early October, by the way, so there might be some Halloween stuff in there, but also some pretty snowflake stickers. Little gold accents, lots of different shapes and sizes, a variety of different little flakies. They're all hollow. Okay, I think this is it, the solid sticker adhesive gel. Okay, we'll have to see, but I think this is the solid nail glue that we're gonna really look at today. A dip powder recycling system so that you can pour like glitter, you know, little mini crystals, dip powder, or whatever over your nails and then just sort of scoop it right back in your container. Ooh, fun, like a chain. I've seen a lot of people do nail art with these sort of chains, but I've never actually been able to find any, so this is really cool. Solid watercolor. So it says you use like water with these. Um, maybe you get a marble effect. I don't know, that's really cool. We'll have to definitely try these out. I'm honestly surprised whenever I see a product that I've like never even seen before. And this is one of them. I don't think I've ever seen like solid watercolor for nails. We got some really cool butterflies. I wanted to actually open this and take these out. because They're really cool. Like that's a really pretty and detailed butterfly. There's a couple in there like that as well, just smaller. Second to last, some glitter. Seems like they're more like, you know, some warm copper gold brass shades and some black. We have some solid pigment. Looks like an eyeshadow palette. It says you would basically use this like you use a powder just with a little eyeshadow applicator. I feel like everything in this box actually sort of went together, which I do appreciate, like lots of gold and just sort of complementary colors. So I think that's really cool that they did put like thought into it for all of it to sort of work together opposed to just like random colors of everything. Next we have this box. I'm assuming this one's the poly gel now. Yep. Okay, we got some stickers like astrology and then some like card ones. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what's a club and what's a spade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten poly gels. Wow. And there's a couple different brands in here. It's the Acro Gel and the Vetsy line. So this one looks like a glitter, this one looks like a color changing glitter. It looks like this one may have exploded a little bit. A thermal one, more glitter. This looks like a solid color and more glitter. So lots of glitter and thermal, you know, different effect ones in here. Some dual forms, which at this point I would almost never use these types of dual forms. They just don't really work on my nails and I don't really like the curve, but you do get them. A base coat, slip solution, a top coat, Oh, cool, okay, so aside from the dual forms, you actually just get some nail tips. A file, these little clampy things, that's basically so that your dual form or nail tip will stay pushed down while you cure it. Every time I show these, a lot of people tell me that they're just like used for other things, but these are definitely meant for nails also because they're clear, that way the light can shine through and, you know, cure your 
gel. In addition, you get some actually really pretty glitters. I really like these, all these like little flaky ones. I love glitter that looks soft. You know what I mean? These ones just look like soft, like kind of like snow. A light, of course. And last but not least, a, this is the thing I'm gonna blank on, a brush. Also, just gotta say the bubble wrap, very cute. So you get a lot in this poly gel mystery box, 10 shades, that's quite a few. I'm gonna swatch them, cause why not? Okay, so I'm actually only going to swatch the Vetsy because I think I have tried those two acro gels before I know I have for the temperature sensitive one. So I just wanna try this one because I've never tried this brand before. So a lot of these ones are glitter and they are really soft. Like it's really cold in this room and you guys know how poly gel gets. It gets really stiff in the cold, but this one, it's very thin. Like squeezing it out. Oh, this one is busted by the way. Like this one just like, woo, like no problem. They're very pretty though. I was really surprised at how soft they were. So here are the eight shades from the Vetsy brand. I really like them. They are really pretty. Like they're really, really shiny, very sparkly. I think my favorite is the gold one here, which is a shame because that's the one that busted. I also like the black one though. That one has some little hollow specks in it. Actually, these two look almost exactly the same. Are they the same? Okay, I am dumb. I got a duplicate and I didn't even notice. I think I didn't notice because if you see the picture on here, they look different, but they're the same shade name. So <laughs> that is the same one. Well, okay, so I got duplicate. So the seven shades, I guess then, but they are very pretty. And again, really, really soft. I think it's time we open up this solid gel. So already really interesting. I don't know if you can tell, but this lid is just coming off clean. Like there's nothing stuck to it. Oh my God. Okay, this is very interesting. Like, and it's not sticking to this. Like it's coming off clean. How interesting. Alrighty, well, like they just pick up a bit and like start rolling it. So let's do that. Let's get a little bit, I guess. It feels so unnatural to put gel in your hands. It doesn't stick. It can be rolled up in a ball. They didn't explicitly say that it was safe to like touch it with because I know there's some concerns sometimes with allergies or just sensitivities to gel and stuff but someone said like I'll find the comment someone brought up a concern in their comments saying there's chemicals may cause allergies and they just responded saying this glue won't stick to your hands so I don't know about that but I'm gonna touch it today and then I just wonder like how much you can touch it before it like no longer will have good sticking power too because surely even if you wash your hands really really well there's still going to be a little bit of like i guess dead skin or oil or something that's going to come off anybody you know tiny dust that's going to come off in the product you could probably sculpt with this though that would be really cool like and then just cure it when you're ready since this doesn't stick to anything this is looking really wrong but i'm literally i'm just trying to make a pretzel Ta-da. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, well, I'm just going to just like roll this up again. I guess like just like a something like that, then it looks like it's getting dirty. It is no longer clear. And I'm just gonna cure it, I guess. While we're here, the nails. These are just full cover tips with some Hello Kitty stickers. I got the Hello Kitty stickers in the Secret Nail Affair Halloween box. And the tips are from Eno Couture. I'll link them down below, but that's literally all they are. <laughs> so no video. I don't like to do videos on just like putting tips on with glue and putting stickers over them. It would make for like a two minute video. Okay, I think it needs a little bit longer to cure. You hear that? It's like solid. It cured. Again, it's sticking power to like anything. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I mean, that's really cool. It's still slightly, not soft, like uncured, just like soft as a material. Very interesting though. There's a lot of different stuff from the store that I wanna try that I got today. So I'll just take off a hand and we will get started. Okay, so here we are on the actually using this stage. Now, I'm not gonna lie. So I've already put on nails, but I actually had a couple issues after the fact that I wanna talk about. So I will insert footage from the first time that I put these on and I thought it was super easy to use. Like you were able to just put the gel on and it really just squeezed out the sides, super easy to keep the tip down like you didn't get any air bubbles and it was super easy to just scrape off any excess reuse it was really great but at the end my cuticles were really red and I thought it was probably just from me 
picking at them. We all know that I mangle my cuticles on the regular, you know, something I'm working on, something we're all working on, I know. But I think that putting the product too close to my cuticles and then curing it made them really irritated. And I left my nails like that for like four days thinking it would just get better that I maybe filed too close, that I just irritated them, but it never got better. So I took them off last night and my cuticles are pretty much just fine now. The redness went away. So I'm going to be a lot more careful today. And also I did it on all 10 nails before I'm only gonna do it on one hand today. And when I did all 10 nails, I didn't even use a ton extra. I used almost half of the bottle for this. So it went really quickly. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. I didn't want to like redo it and pretend that I hadn't already done this. So today I'm actually gonna do something a little different and we're gonna do a little bit of a different technique. So I'm gonna actually only put the tip up to like here and then we will fill in and rebalance it with poly gel towards the bottom here because I don't wanna get it too close to my cuticle. I don't wanna use too much of this product. So instead of like putting it on tip like that, I'm gonna do it to a little bit like that. And we will put the poly gel on the rest. This product, I really loved it the first time I was using it, but like it scared me that my skin really didn't like it. I do have sensitive skin, but usually if I just like leave it for a day, it goes away. So I'm going to just put on a base coat I really do like the consistency of this base coat though. That was something that I noticed when I was doing this. So I'm just gonna cure the base coat really quick. So let's try this again. Also something I did wanna point out is in this box of tips, there are 10 sizes and they start with one, not even zero. And these I feel like run small because this is a one and it fits my nail like perfectly on my thumb. And usually my thumb is a three in other sizes. So these do run really small. So if you have bigger nail beds than me, do not recommend their tips, these ones anyway. So we'll use this stuff again. Like I said, I'm gonna do a lot more Sparingly. This stuff is so cool. So I'm really sad that like my skin didn't like it. Again, everyone's skin is different with, you know, allergies and stuff like that. But I was just really surprised that it was so sensitive, I guess. And I know something that I was like, hmm, about is even though I washed my hands, you know, I tried to get as much oil off, etc. You know, there's probably gonna be a little bit of oil and, you know, dirt, whatever that could get on the product. Initially, I did file like around my cuticle and try to get like some of the product off and I thought I even filed too much because you know If you've started off doing your own nails, you know that if you File too much around your cuticle and you sort of file off like almost down to your nail that that will cause it to lift And I did that and it was on I feel like this product doesn't act like a whole I don't know how else to describe it So if I put it down, I cure it if I file off like half of this down to my natural nail It didn't seem like the rest of it would lift it just seemed like where you put it down It will stay regardless if, if you like break the seal Unless you're like the cleanest, you know, most tidy person ever. I thought I cleaned this pretty well. I thought my hands were clean, but I still got, you know, some, I don't know what that is, probably a glitter or something. Probably not good for clear nails, but as you can see, let's get a nice good close up. I only have it like towards down and then I flattened any little extra product there. And I'm gonna cure it like this. And then that will also make the nails a little bit longer, but also make sure that that product isn't touching my skin in any way. This product is super, super strong. So that's also why you would maybe still want to use it if you don't want to get it like near your cuticles. It is just, it's really on there. And it also makes it really easy to put the tip down because you can tell I don't have to hold it down. It just stays. There's no air bubbles, no lifting. While you're trying to put it on, you can mess with it, you know, put exactly where you want and it's not going to move by itself. And I'm gonna do that basically to the rest. Also a nice thing about doing it this way to where you're not putting it on your whole nail is you don't have to like round out and make this fit your cuticles because obviously I have a really round, maybe not completely even cuticle here and these are more square. Okay, I'm just gonna put that little bit there. Hopefully that's enough. And then we'll just smush it down like so. Isn't that so strange? Like it's not moving, it's not gonna go anywhere. It just stays like such an interesting product. I don't know outside of this video obviously for like testing purposes and just playing with it that i will ever use it just because my skin didn't really love it as like adhesion for nails but i will definitely use it for either making charms or 3d elements to the nails like once again i'm really sad that my skin just like didn't love it because i'm going to be honest this has been one of the easiest times ever putting on 
some tips like this. Like it's just super easy to do, almost foolproof, I would say, in terms of like being able to get them straight and on without any, you know, leakage, bubbles, etc. I'm gonna try to get this extra off right here. It didn't seem like the product bugged my skin until I cured it though. So that really is just something like you can see, I kind of got it right here. So I'm just going to scrape as much and then also use some of the slip solution there just to make sure that there is absolutely none left on my skin for when I cure it. Cause actually like look at my cuticles, they look okay today. So let's not ruin that. This stuff is so strong once you put it on and also something that does happen. If you've been doing your own nails, you know that there's probably been a point where you accidentally cured some sort of gel on your hand. And sometimes you can honestly just like peel it off. But this stuff, if you cure it on your hand, it's like stuck almost like super glue. I am not exaggerating when I say that if I wasn't blabbering on and I was just like trying to get this done quickly, like the nails on at least, I could probably put these tips on with this gel. I don't know, maybe it would take me like, I don't know, I wanna say maybe 10 minutes for all the fingers. It probably, the most time it would take would be the light. And you could also put all of these on and then cure it. You really don't need to cure it individually one by one. I just do because y'all know me and you know I knock stuff over all the time. So I gotta do it one by one. And there we have it. I am going to just do a quick little buffing over the nail and just this little area that's in between where the lip is, just a little bit. None of the nails are gonna look clear-ish today, so I don't need underneath to look great. Sometimes I feel like I have a handle on stuff, sometimes I don't. I don't feel like I have a handle on me picking my cuticles right now. So if anyone has any tips for that, for how you like, kind of like curb just picking at it without maybe even realizing, let me know. I know that's something a lot of us probably struggle with. Having nails on does help though. And voila, so today we're gonna do some sort of like a holiday sort of themed nails. I'm looking at my poly gels right now and I'm trying to decide what I wanna use. Like I said, I don't really love red on me, but this red is just really pretty. I may wanna use the gold, maybe the black and gold maybe. But I also do really want to try all of these really interesting pigments and this watercolor stuff. So this is gold and white. I think the gold will be good, the black. And these are gonna just be thin layers of poly gel. I am going to put a base coat back on top of everything. This is once again going to be a trust the process type of deal. Looks a little crazy now. Hopefully it should look better towards the end. Let's start with the black. Just gonna squeeze a little bit of that on there. Looks chunky. <laughs> I have my slip solution here also that they provided. Ooh, moves around very easily. And this is where I'm gonna fill in these gaps that the tip did not cover. It's really pretty so far. It's also super easy to move around, like extremely easy. Nice, very pretty. I'm just gonna wrap a little bit of paper towel around this one since it is busted. I don't want that getting all over my hand. Ooh, okay. And then I think I'm gonna do the gold on this finger and this finger. It is a bit sticky, so I'm just trying to pat it to move it around opposed to like pulling. I'm going to put this same black on these nails and we will be right back. So we're looking a little chunky now. Let's file. Basically just gonna work on just cleaning up the edges. I feel like this file isn't doing the job, so I'm going to use one of my Ellen Nailed It ones. I love these ones. I feel like they're just like really sturdy. Okay, so I'm back. I did end up filing into the sides a little bit. You know, I wanted the shape so clean and that just ended up filing. It's fine. So we're gonna go with uh, some sort of like gold marble design in some aspect. I definitely wanna use these gold snowflakes. I wanna try out this solid watercolor stuff, maybe the pigment stuff. There's just so many cool items in this. I just wanna try as much as I can. So I'm gonna get out these snowflakes. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys my plan. So for this one, I almost want it like a marble overcoming with snowflakes underneath, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. I think I should put a base coat on before. Snowflake, very pretty. Stickers, very easy to get off, which I appreciate. Okay, so underneath it says, wet the brush with clean water and then apply it on the pigment. 
dissolves in water, melts in a dip, color bright. Okay, I'm not sure how to use these, so let's see. Let's use a test nail first. So I have some water on my brush. I guess we'll just maybe, let's just try this one. So obviously that did not work out well, which duh, probably should have thought of that, but I'm just gonna put a matte top coat over this now and see if we can get a little bit of a better result. Look at how dark that looks. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Maybe it'll work better on a matte top coat. Ooh, I think it does. We could probably just do some like nice marbling, you know, something of that nature. Good, I'm glad we figured out how this works. Very cool product. So on that note, I'm gonna take my black and I'm going to do it sort of like a, you know, just like the marble sort of like creeping in. Then I'm going to just put the matte top coat on the whole nail. Okay, so here's what we have. I wanna try some of this gold. It looks really pretty. And then I guess I'm just gonna like, da, 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 da. That actually looks really fun. I kind of want to just keep it on the black. I actually like this stuff a lot. I thought it was going to be kind of hard to use. It works with like thinned out inks, you know what I mean? But almost easier because these spread less than the ink so you can control it a little bit more. Ooh, I like it. I almost set this into cure, but you don't just wait for it to dry. <laughs> I'm actually going to add a little bit more. I actually really love this. I'm letting this dry, but I'm kind of putting like a line of where it sort of ends in base gel. I'm kind of making it a little squiggled so it's not like perfect, you know? And then I'm going to cure it. And I'm gonna use this gold foil, and hopefully not make a mess. Let's grab a little bit of that and hopefully it will just stick to where I put the base coat. Oh. <gasps> I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks nice actually. And I'm just going to top coat this one now. I'm kind of going nail by nail. I might end up doing the same design on the other black nails, but I kind of just want to see. I want a little bit of variety on this one because I just want to try out all these products, you know? Okay, so so far I'm really happy with how that looks. It's a little bit hard to see, you know, like exact details of say the snowflakes and stuff, but I actually really like it. So let's move on to the gold nails. Okay, so I've actually done this nail twice now, but neither time has worked out. So I'm on my third design, hoping that it does work out better. The first one, I just didn't put on the top coat right to try to do a French tip with the powder and it was kind of clumpy. The second one, I did the French tip design with the powder and it, in theory was fine until I decided to try to do a sweater design with acrylic in it. So this is my third time doing this nail, but I think that this design will be better. So I've put a matte top coat on and I'm actually just going to draw a snowflake from one of these stickers. I figure that's probably a pretty easy guide. Ooh, I like it, oh my gosh. Do I dare try to add another one? I think I'm gonna try, Ugh, it's so hard, I don't know. I'm not gonna push my luck and I'm just gonna leave this one as is and I'm gonna top coat it now. Wow, I love this one. I'm gonna do a similar design on my middle finger that I did on the thumb, but this one's just gonna be look a little bit different because it's on silver, but it'll be pretty much the same in terms of design. So I'm just gonna do that very quickly. Kinda wish I had some black snowflakes, but that's okay. Okay, so I really wanna try to do like a 3D design with this. So I'm gonna try to do like a present bow, like the nail is like wrapped, if that makes sense. So I have a couple pieces, I'm just gonna divide that up. I don't think it should stick to here. I'll just like roll it, so strange. Probably do the same with this piece. It's okay if it gets like some of this little gold foil in it because we will be like painting it. I'm gonna put a base coat on here just so everything can stick. Probably would stick anyway, but just to be safe. So I'm gonna do it not down the center, but a little bit off center. But I am gonna then try to just like flatten it out a little bit. I saw someone do a snake with this stuff, which I thought was really cool. And I almost, I literally almost did a design like that, but I decided I wanted to do a sort of like winter holiday 
design. Okay, hopefully you guys can see the side. I think that looks good. It's so hard to see from like the front. I'm gonna break this piece in half. So now I'm gonna try to make a bow, which probably will be the hardest part as you guys saw me try to make a pretzel in the beginning of this video, which you could argue has a similar shape. I'm gonna try to get an even shape. I'm gonna cut off what isn't even. And I guess, oh, I don't even know how, cause like you can pick it up, but you also have to be careful. I'm gonna try to maybe like, just like fold it inward. Okay, I think that one was too big. We'll try again. I think that looks okay. I'm gonna try to put the tiniest strip. Oh my gosh, can you guys even see this? It's so hard when it's clear. The tiniest strip like in between the two, I guess little round bits for the bow, just so it doesn't look like weird in the middle. You know, like it looks like more like a tied ribbon, I guess. I did get this, I guess it's like modeling gel or something of the sort from AliExpress. I have a bunch of stuff from AliExpress that I'm gonna use in a video, but I was almost considering doing a video on just the modeling gel kind of by itself and just trying to see what we can sculpt with it. And those ones are pre-colored. So that would probably be a lot easier to see. Let me know if you want a separate video on just those or if you just want me to include it in the regular like AliExpress video. Okay, so here it is. Hopefully you guys can see with the bow and the ribbon. I am not exactly sure what would be the best route to go to color this. I think I'm gonna do the base color black. That way we can see it, you know? Okay. I know it looks kind of hard to see right now, but I'm gonna put gold on top of it. I just wanted the black as like a base layer. So I'm gonna try to revisit the powders and I'm gonna just try to dab this on. I didn't wipe it, I don't have a top coat. I just really wanted to stick to the bow part, not to the top coat on anything on the rest of my nail. I really like it. So that's just the powder. I wanna put some of this glitter gel on the bow. And here is the bow. I actually really like it and like how it turned out. I think it's definitely gonna be better that the solid gel is used for stuff like this rather than to adhere things. I'm just gonna put on the top coat with the detail brush so I don't bulk anything up. For our last nail, I'm going to do some more snowflakes. I am going to attempt to just draw them on. So I'm gonna draw this snowflake in this gold just to get my outline of it. Okay, I feel like it looks good if you can see it, but I feel like you almost can't tell. I put a layer of just some thicker gel on and I'm gonna just see how it would look if I just put some of this on, like maybe a little bit more defined. Did it just fall off? It did, okay. Okay, honestly, I know it's a little hard to see, but I feel like you can tell what it is. And we are pretty much done. I'm just gonna put a little bit of cuticle oil on and I'm actually really happy with how these turned out. This is the first winter holiday set of the season. I'm really happy that I was actually able to get out some like actual time relevant designs this year. I think these are gonna look so much better outside, so let me show you. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. What do you guys think of this solid nail glue, nail gel, let me know. Please make sure to give this video a like. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.